if you go back and look at any of our checkbooks, uh, Ms. Williams and my checkbooks, they do not say uh, Tom and Pam Williams or Thomas N. and Pamela M. Williams. I, I went to one bank and tried to open an account, and they said, uh, we won't open an account like you won't open it. And I said, uh, well, what do you mean? And they said, well, you want your wife's name on the checkbook, Mrs. Tom Williams. I said, that's who she is. I said, she ain't Pam Williams. That died a long time ago. She's Mrs. Tom Williams. That's who she is. I, and, and they said, well, we won't open an account like that. We have to use her first name. I said, then I don't do business here. I called the airline the other day to book some tickets, and I said, uh, one of them will be for Mr. Uh, Dr. Tom Williams, one for Mrs. Tom Williams. And they said, what's her name? I said, Mrs. Tom Williams. That's her name. Did you know there would be a lot less trouble if everybody called Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Johnson, instead of calling them by her first name? That breeds familiarity. If every other man in the world called her Mrs. Johnson, you'd have a lot less trouble. It's getting quieter. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm just saying to you, that's who she is. She's Mrs. Dexter Johnson. See, whoever she was, Charlene Smith or whatever, that died back there at the wedding altar. That went out of existence. That, that, that quit. That's through. That's finished. You see, I, I, and, and, and you need to learn that. You cleave to your wife. 